All right, uh, let's look at the ODE uh, power series method, all right, uh, number 18. All right, so uh, let's solve this uh, initial value problem uh, using a power series meth method. All right, so let's say that uh, we have a um, uh, solution in power series uh, with unknown coefficient uh, CN, which is given here. Oops. All right, hold on a sec. All right, so this is the guy. All right, so since we need to plug those guys in, we have to find the first derivative and the second derivative. All right, so the first derivative, we just take the derivative of each term. We get uh, y prime uh, is equal to uh, summation. All right, since uh, n equals 0, it's going to be 0 anyway, so I'm going to start from n equals 1 to infinity. All right, so cn is just a constant, and derivative of x to the n is n times x to the n minus 1. All right, so you can see that uh, since there's n there, when n equals 0, term is 0 anyway, so that's why I'm starting from 0. I was starting from 1. All right, then the next step would be we need to take another derivative, so y double prime is going to be equal to uh, summation. Uh, n goes from 2 to infinity, All right? So n is just a constant. Uh, Cn is just a constant. Derivative of x to the n minus 1 would be, uh, I have to put the n minus 1 there. Maybe I should put, uh, oop, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, hold on a sec. So I'm going to do this, All right? So n is there, but you have to put n minus 1, Cn, x to the n minus 2. Right? So those are the uh, first derivative and the second derivative. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to simply uh, plug this guy in here and uh, this guy goes in here and uh, this guy goes in there. Right? So let's do that. All right, I'm going to just uh, distribute the x squared to y double prime. You're going to get this. So it's kind of tedious. Uh, so you have a summation. Right? N starts from uh, 2 to infinity. Right? So you have uh, N and uh, N minus 1. And we have CN. And then you have X to the, right? So N minus 2 times X squared. So that will give us uh, X to the N. Right? Now we distribute 2 to y double prime. So we're going to have a summation. Uh, it's going to go from 2 to infinity. All right, it's going to be 2 times n times n minus 1 times uh, x to the n minus 2. All right? And the second term is uh, 4x times y prime. So we have uh, summation uh, n goes from 1 to infinity All right you have a 4 and we have n c n then x times x to the n minus 1 would be x to the n All right a third term is 2 times uh, y so it's going to be a summation uh, n goes from 0 to infinity all right, so then you have a 2 times uh, cn, then you have x to the n. All right, so this is supposed to be equal to 0. So right-hand side is 0. All right, so what we want to do next is I'm going to uh, combine all that in one summation and the pull out x to the n. All right, so uh, let's work on that. All right, first thing is here, uh, I want to start from 0. All right, this one is actually an easy fix, right? So you have uh, n starts from 1, but uh, you can start from 0 because when n is equal to 0, the term is 0 anyway, so you are not really adding anything new. All right, so that's done. All right, and also this one, you can do the same thing. Um, instead of starting from 2, I can start from 0 because uh, when n equals 0, because of this n, the term is 0. And n equals 1, because of n minus 1, the term equals to 0 anyway. So again, 
we're not adding anything new, right? Uh, this one is a little bit tricky, right? Everyone else seems to have x to the n. This one has x to the n minus 2. So we have to um, uh, match that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, shift the uh, index uh, two notches, right? Instead of starting from 2, I'm going to starting fr start from uh, uh, 0. So you have a summation. n starts from 0 to infinity, right? So since we're starting from a number uh, 2 less than the original number, I'm going to change the index to adding 2 to everyone. So you have a 2 here, right? n becomes n plus 2, right? Because uh, plugging in 0 here is equivalent to plugging in 2 there, right? So, and here, n minus 1 becomes n plus 1. Right, then you have x to the n minus 2 becomes just the x to the n. Right, so you can see that uh, here all the summations are starting from 0. Right, right, this one and that one. All right, then we can just uh, write the one summation. So put them all together. You have a summation n goes from 0 to infinity. Right, and another thing is that the everyone now has x to the n. We have x to the n, and we have a x to the n there. We have x to the n there. Right. So what we can do is uh, we can pull out x to the n. Uh, probably um, putting it right here, x to the n. Right, and the right hand side is zero. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. All right. Then let's uh, collect the terms with the CN in it. So you have a CN, all right? All right, so look for CN, all right? So this is the term here, all right? So we have N times uh, N minus one. So I'm gonna write the N squared minus N, all right? And uh, CN, oh, actually, uh, sorry, I messed up here. Uh, there, there should, there should have been C n here. So since we added uh, a two to each index, so this is C n plus two. All right, sorry about that. All right, then, but there's a C n, uh, another C n here, so it's going to be a uh, four n, so plus four n, and then uh, we have a two C n. Oops, that, that's a wrong color. All right, so 2CN there. So I'm going to put the plus 2 there. All right. Then um, other thing is uh, the one with the CN plus 2. So I'm going to have CN plus 2. And then you're going to have, uh, actually, there's, this is the only one. All right, so I'm going to just copy that. So you have a 2 times uh, N plus 2 times n plus 1. All right, then what we want to do is, since uh, we want this summation to be 0, which means that uh, we have to make sure that uh, this, right, this part, all these coefficient must be equal to 0. All right, and I have to do a little bit of rewriting here. All right, so you can see it's, uh, let's see, this is uh, n squared, and combine these two, uh, plus uh, 3n plus 2, right? And luckily, we can factor this out as n plus 2 times n plus 1, All right? So we have this. So we have the equation. We have to make sure that uh, n plus 2 times n plus 1 cn and plus 2 times n plus 2 times n plus 1 cn plus 2. This is equal to 0. All right? And then uh, we can actually, there are a whole bunch of common factors. We can divide through by... Um, n plus 2, so we can cancel that, right? 0 divided by n plus 2 is still 0. And we can divide through by n plus 1, 
and that goes away. So what you get is uh, simply uh, you have a CN plus 2 times CN plus 2 equals 0. Then I'm going to solve for CN plus 2. So I'm going to subtract CN. We get the 2CN plus 2 is equal to negative CN. All right? Then we can just uh, divide through by 2 to get the formula for CN plus 2. CN plus 2 is negative 1 half CN. All right? So we are trying to come up with the um, uh, formula for CN uh, using this uh, kind of a recursive formula here. All right, and also uh, we need to uh, look at the um, initial value condition, right? Here, it says that the y of 0 is equal to 1, right? What does that give us, All right? So if you plug in x equals 0 into this uh, a power series, you can see that uh, everything is 0 except for the constant term because uh, you have a constant term C0 and everything else is going to be zero because you plug in x equals zero. So this says that uh, if you plug in zero, only thing that's left is a c0. So this initial condition tells you that the c0 is equal to one. All right? We already know the c0 value. All right. The next thing is uh, right here. All right? A y prime of zero is equal to one. All right? Then if you plug in x equals 0 into this power series for y prime, what happens is uh, only the first term is left over, which is uh, 1 times c1, because that's a constant term. So c1 is going to be actually 1 as well. So this tells you that um, uh, c1 value is equal to 1. All right. Then the next step is try to come up with the formula for CN, right? But we have to actually do a couple different cases uh, because uh, since uh, uh, CN plus 2 is based on uh, CN, so it kind of skips one, uh, one notch. So I'm going to uh, look, uh, look for the even term and the odd term separately, right? So uh, let's, uh, let's look for the uh, even term first even term, All right? And uh, maybe we should do the odd terms uh, right here. All right? So we have uh, even term, All right? So we're going to look at the C2, All right? So C2 is going to be equal to Right, so according to this, we can just do uh, n equals 0. C2 is going to be negative uh, 1 half uh, C0. Right, but the C0 is 1, so you're going to get uh, negative 1 half. All right, so let's do uh, C4. All right, then it's going to be C4, it's a 1 half times uh, C2. Right, but uh, uh, C2 is one negative one half, you get the one half squared. All right, so let's do C6, All right, and the negative one half, and uh, C, um, C4. So that's going to give us negative one over two cubed. All right. I'm uh, running out of time, so I'm going to finish this one, and I'm going to uh, make a, another video. So you have a C2n, so here's the pattern, All right? So signs alternating, so it's going to be negative 1 to the n, right? Then it's going to be 1 over uh, 2 to the n, right? So we found the formula for C2n. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to start with finding the formula for Cn plus 1. All right? So stay tuned.